Hello, my name is Garrett Maxson and I work for dragonscripting.com. Uh, today we're going to go over how to use a clipboard item. Um, clipboard's also using Control C is also your clipboard, but this will be a pretty short video. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, and here we have the command already made out. I have some comments out that we're going to use as tests, and then we have a variable that when we're going to assign the value of what's in the clipboard at the moment to the variable and then we're going to give a message box saying what it was in that what that value was. So right now I'm not sure what the value is, so I'm going to go ahead and make a value inside of our clipboard. I'm going to highlight this, press control C, that will copy hello world to our clipboard. And when I play this, it's going to say hello world. Just make sure, go through the next one, again control C, which is copy if you go file copy um, control C same thing. Uh, and then play it and then it says another world. So that's just using um, that to suck, to bring in whatever's in the clipboard into a variable. Now once it's in this variable, we can use this more than once, even if we copy something else to the clipboard. Um, so if I go example one, and then example, mm, that's not going to work, it would have to be in multiple commands. Mm. You know, I don't think it's going to work. Well, we'll do a more advanced video on how to do multiple cl clipboard items. Um, but basically, your command's long enough. You can make the clipboard here in one part, and then you can copy something else using Control C, which I'll actually show you in the other command um, how to copy something. And then once it's copied, you can assign it to a different one, say example two. Um, but in this part, it's not going to work because it's just going to overwrite itself because it has the same clipboard item inside of it. Um, anyways. So that's how basics of using a clipboard. We can assign a variable based on what's on the clipboard at the moment. Now this is just running within here. I'm not gonna, this isn't showing you how to actually say a command. So I have another one made up, a clipboard copy item. And that's why we have these two things here as well. Um, is that what this is gonna do is this is, I'm gonna tell it where to start, which I'm just gonna put the, the cursor there. And I'm gonna say, uh, shift and which means highlight to the end so when I do that press shift and end it'll highlight all the way to the end of the sentence so if there was more stuff here it would highlight everything um, if you want to go over specific words that's that's a little it's for a different tutorial but I'm basically going to copy everything in that line and then once it selects the entire line I'm going to press control C that's going to copy it which is going to put it in our clipboard and then at that point our variable is going to be having the value of the clipboard and then the message box is going to come out so we'll just see how this works real quick. Example of clipboard copy item. So there, copied the whole thing, sent it out, message for us. Example of clipboard copy item. Example of clipboard copy item. Okay, same thing, so then we can just write whatever. This is a test. Okay. Example of clipboard copy item. Okay, and then that will be what we wrote. So it's taking you to wherever listing um, on this side, whatever we're writing it. And when this gets more complicated, you can tell it to go back to that window. You can say, take what's in this window and then go to this window and copy it in here or you can say um, or down or something let's do so shift end and then let's say if we want to do uh, set keys ah, we'll do it for another one we'll make another comp more complicated clipboard video basically we'll tell it to go and save this as example one and then go down and then save this as example two um, you know let's just do it real quick Clipboard. So here we're saying clipboard, that's going to, at that point, clipboard equals example one. So we can take the same thing, control C, and then we can do send keys um, down, and then we can go through. Let's do that again, and then, so we're going to tell it to go down a line, and then I'm actually going to going to tell it to go home. That way I know I'm starting off somewhere specifically. So what this should do is should copy this whole thing. And then with this copied, it should move down and then press home and then copy it again. 
Um, so that should work. Hopefully the timing is going to be good. And then copy, and that's going to copy it to clipboard two. So now we're using clipboard twice, but we're going to save it. So the variable is different here. At this point, the variable will be another world, whereas this variable, when this clipboard is press control C, is going to be hello world. But it's going to save it. So it's going to save it in here, example one, and then do example two. And then we're going to use both of them down here. So we're not saying clipboard here, we're saying the example because the clipboard now is only another world. We wouldn't be able to call up hello world unless we pull it and save it as a as a variable right there. So let's go ahead and give this a try and see what happens. Example of clipboard copy item. Okay, so got the first one, hello world, and then another world. So got both of them. So again, we're just using the clipboard to save the items that we're copying into a variable. And this can get much more com more complicated. You can com start to compare variables based on clipboard to see if you're copying the same thing as you copied before. Say if you couldn't go down anymore and it copied, it, you tried to copy again, and you'd say, oh, okay, well, this is null, so you can't do anything with it. So that'd be the end of, of, um, of the command at that point. Um, or you'd copy this twice and say if the a if example one and example two are the same, then you know you reached the end of your document. Don't copy anymore or end the command at that point. There's a whole bunch of different ways to use it, um, but this can be very simple and it can be very advanced, um, and it's just nice to have. So this is um, part of our example fundamentals videos. We're putting out free um, and then putting the commands. Um, the actual uh, if you can't read it off here, I'm going to start putting the whole entire batch onto the website. Um, so thank you for watching. Please give us a like or give us some feedback on this video. And then check out the website at dragonscripting.com uh, for more commands and tutorial videos. Uh, we also have a mailing list if you want to keep up to date with what we're doing and the newest products that we're putting out. Uh, we should have a lot more things coming out soon. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.